Here's the neighborhood, Allen. This is heads above the other neighborhood. All these houses are in good shape. You're right behind Dylan's, just down the street from that other little property that needed carpet. The only thing I see is some crack or right here. That's the brick facade. That's pretty normal to have that crack there. Down in the, looks like they've added dirt around here. Probably need to add some more dirt in the back. Around this corner and actually around these window wells over here looks like some water is getting in the unfinished basement. But I think you can remedy that. It's obviously pretty low right there and I don't think it's a problem. There is a good sized crack on the foundation right there. Um, look at your yard sloping away from your house though. You can definitely stop the water from getting in. In the course of this transaction, they've put up new gutters um, and put on a new roof. And I'll walk you into the inside of the house right now. I think this is a no-brainer. The listing agent told me that they had it pre-inspected and they used the inspector that I would use, who was Guy Anderson. He did the inspection before they put it on the market. And uh, they did a lot of the repairs that he recommended. That's Anderson Home Inspections. Got a nice hearth room back here. It's good size. There's the door to the basement. And there's the garage out there, the double garage. Could be bigger, but it's not bad at all. Back to this room. Got the hearth room here. These are all newer windows, it looks like. Good sized kitchen. I haven't even been back to the bedrooms yet, so I'll do that. There's that living room there. Back to the bedrooms. Down the hall. Oh, so the listing agent told me that when they put it on the market, they had 11 showings. First day, two offers. Um, a realtor was the offer that was accepted, and she backed out last night. I don't know why he said she got cold feet. I've known that realtor to be the real, this bedroom's a little smaller, but I've known the realtor who backed out to be a little flaky at times, if you will. I won't tell you who that is, so that shouldn't be any kind of an ethical violation on my part. These are newer windows too. And then here's for the master bedroom. Like there is a master bath. I think you want to write an offer on this thing today before he posts the pictures that he's about to take. Sorry if I'm moving too fast. Just don't want this to take forever for you and I have to upload this still. I think this house has good bones. This is that back wall where there is a little water in the basement, but I don't see a bunch of cracking or anything like that. I don't even see the crack that's usually up above the master bathroom. Well, it's a little bit of a crack right there. I'll go down to the basement right now and give you the last view of that. See what you think. Looks like, you know, like I said, there's been a little bit of water down here, but as you go through the basement, looks pretty good. There's not a whole lot of cracks. There is a crack right up there, a little bit, but that, I don't think that's major. That's underneath the garage even, or right next to underneath the garage. Got a higher efficiency furnace. Don't necessarily like this push matic panel, but you can have that replaced for about thousand dollars looks like maybe some water has come in on this side this is where that one crack in the foundation is that i mentioned there's a bit of a crack right here by this window but overall the wall looks to be pretty straight got some new plumbing and i don't see cracks on these walls over here now that there could be some 
But I, again, I don't see them over here. I see a crack in this wall coming from this window that's obsolete now. That's what I got for you, Alan.